right, everybody. I had to get real, real nice looking on this one. Because this one's for the ladies. No, I'm just kidding. Um, taking all this off. <laughs> but this one is really for the ladies. So, fellas, parents, if you want to get one for the guys, comment down below. Um, or connect to the poll up here and give me your thoughts. If we can get like, I don't know, 100 likes, something like that, then I'll go ahead and make one for the guy. All right, so the purpose of this video is basically a quick checklist for all the young ladies or young girls who are considering pursuing a, a relationship in high school. In essence, it's like a bay checklist or I like to call it a scouting report. Scouting report, scouting report, scouting report. Scouting report. Cameron Macon, nor any representative of Macon Changed Men, can or should be held accountable for how you use or what results or outcomes that you encounter. This scouting report is not an official document and will self-destruct after this recording is complete. All right, so I think this message is extremely important. Listen up. To all my young girls and young ladies, you are beautiful, strong, smart creatures and should love and respect yourself. But some young ladies have difficulty choosing young men that will naturally love and respect them. All right, let's jump right into it. First, let me define what a scouting report is for the viewers that are not um, athletes or are not familiar with what a scouting report is. So a scouting report is, long story short, a report that comes from someone doing research. Someone, um, here's an example of when you might use it. Uh, when I used to coach basketball, um, if we were going to check out a team that we're going to be playing in the future. Let's say this team is going to be on our schedule a little later in the season. We would go to a game when they're playing someone else, set up in the bleachers like a regular person, and we would watch them. So we were interested in this team because we're going to play them later, right? So we're interested in this team. We go, we sit, we watch their game. We watch how they get ready. We watch what their coach does. We watch how the players warm up, you know, um, layup lines, different drills, shooting, dribbling. We see who the strong ball handlers are. We see who the weak ball handlers are. Um, we see who can shoot, um, who can drive to the basket strong, uh, who can shoot free throws well, things like that. And basically, you are interested in a couple players or a team, and you watch the way that they act. You watch the things that they do. So that way you can get an idea of what they're more likely to do in the future. All right, hold on to that thought. So if you translate that whole basketball scouting report scenario to a young lady looking for a guy. All right, let's say you're in class, you're in school, in the hallway, you see a guy. He's cute, you know, he dresses nice, whatever. Um, you're interested. So what I'm telling you to do is to watch him for a little while. Watch him see how he interacts. And I'm not saying stalk him. Let me, let me go ahead and get into that. I'm not saying stalk the guy like, I'm not saying do that, okay? <laughs> it's every single move. I don't want you peeking behind lockers and coming out of trash cans and having camo and bushes in your hair. Not saying do all that. I'm just saying that observe him, okay? Do a little research before you make any kind of moves or before you fall to like, oh, I like this guy. Watch the guy. See what he does, how he acts, how he talks, how he interacts with people, teachers, other girls, other guys, things like that. All right, so the guy that you end up choosing and want to try to date, you know, um, or become your boyfriend or whatever, you want them to respect you, right? Because again, you respect yourself. So you wouldn't want to get with somebody that does not already respect you. So does he respect himself? That's the first thing you want to check. Does this guy, when you're scouting, does he respect himself? How can you tell? Here are some ways you can tell. All right, first, look at his clothes. Look at his appearance. So not saying does he have the best brands or whatever. I'm saying look at his appearance. Is he, does he keep himself nice? Does he care about how he looks? Um, does he have good hygiene? You know, does he come to school with crust on his you know, uh, mouth? Is his ears all dirty? Uh, does his breath stink? Um, does he look clean? All right, that's some good things that you want to kind of check to see if he respects himself as far as his appearance, how he carries himself. All right, another thing, um, his speech, the way he sounds. Does he sound intelligent? Does he curse a lot all the time, you know, out in public, in front of teachers, in front of other, uh, other students, other girls, other guys? Um, those types of things are clues that will help you minimize issues later on down the road. So does he respect himself by the way he cares himself, his appearance? And does he respect himself by the way he talks, the way he speaks? You know, again, cursing a whole lot um, in public or saying degrading things to girls or to guys or, you know, things like that. And then third, his actions. What does he do? How does he act? All right, you know, does he, is he late to class all the time? Um, does he pretty much generally respect the rules of the classroom? Does he respect the teacher, his elders, things like that? If not, these are key things that you watch, that you do in an everyday, um, everyday situation, you know? You do these daily, weekly, monthly, 
So these are things that our habits already built up. If he has some pretty good habits already, then okay, that's that, that's good. You pass that first check. All right. Does he respect others? Does he treat his peers, other students, girls, guys, and teachers with respect? You know, and he doesn't have to say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You know, okay. <laughs> oh, guy, don't be mean, you know. But again, is it generally respectful? All right. And later on, you know, once you get to know him even more, before you go all the way crazy about it, um, see how he, res how he respects his mom. See how he interacts with his mother. If a guy curses at or is rude to, um, you know, and just doesn't follow the instructions or follow, you know, he didn't interact with his mother well, that's a red flag right there. If he didn't respect his own mom, who birthed him, takes care of him, buys his whatever, you think he's going to respect you? Mm, probably not. All right. The last part of the checklist is checking on him, his mindset. His, where's his mindset at right now? What are his grades like? You know, what's his GPA? It's okay to ask somebody what their GPA is. Um, you, you know, you, you, there's all different ways to ask about that, you know, to go around about doing it, but it's okay to know what his grades are, what his GPA is, what are his goals? What are the things that he's trying to do? You know, is he playing ball? Is he into theater? Is he into technology? And then everybody, you know, might have some kind of goal or they can spit out a goal easily. That's game. But what is he doing to actively pursue that goal? Um, does he have a job? You know, is he committed to going to work? Is he committed to a sports team? You know, is he committed to a club that he actually shows some kind of commitment to? You want him to have commitment to you, he probably needs to have commitment to some things in his life, okay? A habit of commitment. All right, last thing about those goals and the, you know, the mindset, that needs to complement your goals and your mindset. So if he you know, is focused on wanting to be an NBA player and go play, um, you know, play in the league and go overseas and things like that, but you have different kind of plans that don't really, you know, they don't complement each other, they don't work well together, then that's another thing. Even though he might have type, types of goals and different kind of mindset, it might not be the right mindset for you and where you guys would click. So just things to consider. Again, this is a scouting report. Not saying that everything that I'm telling you to do is going to pursue and, you know, help you pursue and get the best guy. But what I'm saying is that it'll help weed out some of the knuckleheads that you don't need to go around and mess with. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it. Again, this is not a comprehensive everything you need to know about a bay or anything like that. What it is is basically just a scouting report telling you, hey, this is a good way to do some research to find out about a guy that you might be interested in. And again, keep you from going through a whole lot of ups and downs with some knuckleheads that you're going to waste your time with anyway. So this is information that I will probably give my daughter at some point in time when she gets older, but I'm giving it to you right now. So listen, look at it, take it, do what you're going to do. Remember the disclaimer. All right, this is Cameron from Making Change Men Mentoring. Be the best you that you can be.